harmonizers welcome to this exciting video where i'm going to take valente's bridle off and we're going to do our first ever bridalist ride so i'm pretty excited and i hope you guys are excited too here we go taking it off for the first time now before i did this i did ride him around with the um, neck cable introducing him to what the cues mean for steering and stopping and wanted to make sure that he was feeling pretty good with it before I made the decision to take the actual bridle off and he was being really good he figured it out pretty quickly so I wanted to try uh, taking it off in the beginning he wasn't super great at steering and it's definitely not perfect yet but he's doing pretty darn good so I wanted to give them an opportunity and see how it goes. Sometimes the horses can act totally great when they've got reins attached or a rope attached and then you go to Liberty or you go to Bridalist and it all falls apart. And that's where the truth comes out, people say. So uh, some horses just tend to take advantage and sometimes they're, you know, really easy. And he is, uh, Valente is super duper cookie motivated. So I know that his intentions are typically going to be very good. So as long as he knows that he's going to earn during this process, then we can expect that he's going to offer some cool stuff and, and be pretty agreeable to what I ask. So this is actually my first time asking him to do sideways with the neck rope. And I'm choosing to do it with a pole because we do side pass over a pole in our ground training and it's a task that he understands how to do very well from the ground. So I thought it might be easier for him to put two and two together if we did it in the saddle over a pole. So he gives me my couple steps to the right. So I wanted to reward him before we got off of the pole. And then I ask him to go the other way. He has a little bit of confusion to start with, but then he's like, oh yeah, 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 I know. I know what I know what that means. So I give him his little cookie again. He's so adorable because he's just looking over like, okay, um, cookies. I probably should have named him the Spanish name for cookie. That would have been pretty cute. So like there you can see that was a slight steering malfunction. I didn't intend to turn that much to the right, but I just went with it because I kind of accidentally told him to do that. So we just kind of make things work a little bit. And that's probably the biggest thing when I'm training bridalists for the first time is yes, I have goals and I make corrections and I am steering. But if I recognize I accidentally oversteered or something like that, I'm not going to make the horse wrong. He's doing everything he's supposed to be doing. So I'm just guiding him where I'd like to go. So this is great. We're doing a lap around the ring. He's understanding to stay out on the track and he's riding around looking like a little superstar do a little transition down and up onto the bridge kind of hard to see with the brightness of the arena coming by but we're stopping on the bridge for a little cookie and then up we go it's a two-step bridge like a two-tier bridge so it's got an elevation like a step up to it and then steering through the center here so trying to do a couple things in differentiating between sometimes we go on obstacles and sometimes we don't uh, there he's saying aren't we supposed to go on the mattress and I'm saying no sometimes we don't go on the obstacles and he's very drawn to the obstacles because he tends to get a lot of cookies on the obstacles so he's very keen to get to those obstacles and pretty happy to do that so I thought let's go for a little canner and actually this is our first canner I didn't bother to canner him first with the bridle on because I just had a feeling that it was going to go super duper awesome. So this is pretty great because I think it was only just two rides ago when we had the ride that I showed you guys where he actually was kind of like hopping a little bit in the canner. So we've only had one more ride between then and now, but his last one, he was super great, cantered, no problem, both directions, didn't do anything silly, uh, didn't do any sort of crow hoppy jumping around business. So I felt like you know that's a thing of the past and we're just gonna ride along like you know we don't we don't do that and I think now that he's figured out how to move with me on his back that he's he's no more comfortable and he's just moving out and he's just a happy little friend so here's just a really good clip to show you just how much he's improved this is an entire lap of canter around the whole arena totally bradless and then check out our cute little halt transition super adorable, very easy to come back. He's he's really 
really nice um, because he's so equal in his go and woe. Like he's very easy for me to get going. He's very easy to stop. And I found my Mustangs in the past have typically been usually pretty lazy and sort of harder to get going. And he's pretty refreshing and that he's pretty easy to get going and uh, pretty willing for sure. And up over the mattress there, like no problem at all. Now we're going to take a look at doing a little, a little jump. And he's just been doing a little bit of jumping. So I just get the trot a little bit before the little jump there. And I'm going to reward him for doing that as well. I have to be careful not to reward him too close to the jump because then uh, sometimes they'll get stopping almost on top of the jump. So I want to make sure I ride out past it. Off to the jump in the other direction. And I was going to originally do the two jumps in the row. And then I realized that the second jump was way bigger than what I'd like to do on our first bridalist ride. So I thought, well, let's see if we can slow down and get straight to this little bridge that's here. And so he figures that out, gets a little cookie up there. So all in all, I'm feeling like super darn amazing about how he's doing his steering is obviously not perfect. Like there, he just goes right past that little bridge and I intended to go up on it. So I have to back him up and go on it, but it's not hard to make the corrections. He's not, he's not, you know, trying really hard to be mischievous or anything like that. So he's making it pretty easy and pretty enjoyable. And we're able to do a variety of different things. Definitely. We have some smoothness and stuff that needs to get a little bit better, but the fact that we've got all this working so so well together on gosh I don't know how many times I've rode him not a lot considering where he is in his training this is really impressive and just showing you guys that I can make a little change of direction switch leads so like it's not just around the rail or just circles and things like that we can kind of do a mix of both things so then I was thinking all right we're gonna do the tarp and the flag as our last final thing to, uh, and I totally was not expecting this right here. Woo, woo. <laughs> so I think what startled him there wasn't me actually picking up the flag. It was the noise that the flagpole made when it was up beside the barrel. It kind of caught him off guard. So we weren't expecting that. I dropped it because I didn't want to create anything like nasty or bad, but really I'm bridalist and he got legitimately scared for a second there. He didn't do anything awful. He just kind of jumped a little bit to the side. Could be way worse. So this time I pick it up and I'm a little bit more careful not to be too bangy with the noise on the barrel. Offer him his positive reinforcement there. Got to pay the boy for showing up to work. And then we're going to come around and ride our tarp. So I still got to do my tarp and my flag, but we just had a little bit of a, a little bit of a hiccup there in the middle before. But look how amazing he's been. You guys remember how scared he used to be of tarps and now he's doing it bridalist with the flag waving over his head. He's just becoming a super a superstar. So he's a pretty cool horse because he was really scared in the beginning and really unsure. And now he's becoming a horse that is just so motivated to try and so motivated to learn and really, really trusting me. So I know I'm going to have to make a decision of do I sell Valente or do I keep Valente? Uh, because if I want to get more Mustangs and keep doing Mustang makeovers, I can't keep them all. But man, I am seriously falling in love with this little dude. He's one nifty Mustang. Pretty easy to go, easy to whoa. The bridalist is happening, our canner and stuff looking awesome. And He's been doing pretty well at Liberty stuff too. So as you can tell from my big smile on my face, I am a pretty happy Mustang owner right about now. So thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now.